Okay, everyone, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to flash Lineage OS onto the Galaxy S5. First thing we're going to do is go into recovery mode, just like so. Now, if you want to see another video on how to get twerp on your Galaxy S5, how to root your Galaxy S5, then leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to do that video for you as well. But this one is basically just on Lineage OS. So there we are. We're in twerp. We're going to go wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik system data and cache of the four we're going to wipe. Don't wipe your internal storage. Well, I'm not going to because that's where my ROM is. Swipe. That's done. Go back to the home of twerp. Go install. Scroll down until I get to lineage. And swipe right. Let it do its thing. Shouldn't take too long. I'll pause the video and I'll come back to it. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to quickly wipe Dalvik Cache again. Back to home. Choose install. And I'm going to install OpenGAPT ARM 7.1 stock. Swipe right. There we go, open gap 7.1. Now this actually takes longer to flash in the ROM. This file is larger than the ROM file. So I'm just going to pause the video again. We'll come back when it's nearly finished. There you can see uh, the gaps is flashed, everything's done. So I'm just going to wipe Dalvik cache again. Done, I'm going to go home, reboot, reboot system. It's going to reboot. It's going to go to the Android boot screen. Um, so again, I'll pause the video and I'll come back when that's complete. Okay, so the boot, the initial boot has finished. Just going to go through and show you. Uh, go back. Lineage OS. Skip. I'll log into my Wi-Fi. Connected. And I'll just quickly show you initial setup page we'll process uh, skip so I just put in my um, passwords for Gmail and that's st that stuff Going to choose Pixel Launcher. And just quickly, Settings. And it's still booting up. There we go 7.1.1 Lineage OS. There we go. Now we'll just have a quick run through of the rest of the app, uh, software. What we've got here is a totally new user interface. It's been overhauled completely. If you can remember, 10 minutes ago I had TouchWiz. Now I've got this awesome new stock software on my device. So uh, no more menu button. It's just swipe up and there's your menu. Swipe to the right. And there's your Google Now, or Google, whatever they call it these days. It's certainly a pixel launcher. You swipe to your right, and there's all your notifications and traffic and weather and all that sort of thing. Now, your notification panel is probably one of the main things that have been overhauled. So if I swipe down, you'll see that they're all bunched up. All the notifications are bunched up now. And if I pull down again, you'll see that I can see a little bit more information about each one. If I pull down again, I can either archive or reply. If I hit reply from here, it'll open the app and go through and I can reply straight away. Now, if it's an SMS that comes through on this ROM, I can actually reply straight from this screen here. A couple of the other main changes that I've noticed while using this is the display. So if I go into display settings and then display, you can change the display size. So I'm going to go from there down to the smallest. 
and there you go you can see how small that is it's really is quite small and I'll go back up to the second largest there we go so everything looks smaller the icons are smaller the DPI is basically changed got the round icons the round folders you also do have the actions to uh, do something straight from the app so if I hold my finger down on Gmail I can compose an email if I hold my finger down on YouTube I can go straight to what's trending subscript my subscriptions or to search for something so actions straight from the home screen which I think is quite nifty um, it's you just got to hold your finger on it it's not touch sensitive so how hard you press it's just a, a long press on each app will make it work there you go that's another really cool feature now another feature is your recent apps panel so if I go into here I can hold my finger down on hangouts slide it up to the top and then choose Gmail and I've got two apps running in the background so you can do two things at once you might be having a chat to someone in Hangouts and the information that you want to share with them is in Gmail so you can just open it up and copy it over into it so um, nice and handy drag and drop as well uh, you can make one smaller or bigger if you get sick of having both of them up or you don't need the second one anymore you can just slide it all the way down and there it goes and you can swap between apps by double tapping on the recent apps button so uh, some good changes they've simplified it a lot now I'm gonna have a quick bit of a rant here now um, a lot of talk these days about we don't flash ROMs anymore we don't need to flash ROMs anymore uh, ROMs aren't significant anymore well that might be the case if you can afford the latest pixel phone or you're always upgrading your phone um, but if you're one of these people that gets a phone every two or three years you know money is tight and you can't afford it flashing a ROM turns your device from a three-year-old device with really chunky crappy software into the latest and greatest device now hardware wise obviously it's not going to change anything you're still going to have the same camera on board um, you're still going to have you know two gigs of RAM and that sort of thing However, the software is optimized and it just breathes new life into your device. Also, with Lineage ROM, this software is just as stable as TouchWiz. It's just phenomenal how good it is. So you're getting the latest and greatest software enhancements. Like I just showed you all the features that, that it comes with. Um, that's all the latest and greatest. That's all the stuff that's on the new Pixel phone. I mean, the Galaxy S5... I think at the time the biggest problem it had was its software and that was always there as a bit of a burden to it and now with Lineage OS you've got the latest, like I keep saying it, the latest and greatest but it is so fast and smooth and uh, just the sort of software you want on any device you can get it on your Galaxy S5 so definitely guys for me uh, custom ROMs are still very relevant they have a great place in the phone community um, not difficult we can't afford to buy new phones all the time we're not getting new phones sent to us all the time so we've got an older device we're going to flash a ROM on it we're going to be wrapped we're going to have the latest software our phone's going to be like it's brand new again and happy days so certainly flashing ROMs is still relevant it's still important get amongst it now if you like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button just there just right there give me a like give me a thumbs up uh, if you want to see more videos on on the s5 roms or how to install twerp and it's super su on on your galaxy s5 then hit me up in the comments as well I'm more than happy to do whatever i can for the community here on youtube so get amongst it thanks again guys catch us in the next one check ya